How to find great and original RPDs is probably the most asked question in my DMs. And this specific one is, well, I want to be an indie developer like you, but the biggest problem for me is finding a great idea for a project. And we had quite similar question in the community. I personally have just one, okay, maybe two original RPDs. First one that come in my mind when, when I was working on my computer science baccalaureate degree work. That was back in 2006, iPhone wasn't released yet and popular guys on internet was vlog, not vloggers, bloggers, those who writing blog posts, right? Vloggers and YouTube come later. So I came up with original blog idea, basically blog service but for photos instead of text. So I jumped into the project. I used PHP back then for that, I coded that service and I went and show, showed it to my friend who was better in PHP, asked it for some questions and he pointed out that there already is similar service. He, he told, oh, take a look how they are solving this problem and so on and so on. And I was shocked that my original idea is not original. So I found out that there is exactly a product like I imagined to create uh, in our local Latvian internet and of course there probably was few global competitors as well i just didn't do my research and didn't found them so i was very frustrated sure i finished my bachelor's work i submitted this project as my bachelor's project got my computer science degree and never touched this project and frankly php again another example is my GPS coordinate app, that was also original idea. If you will take a look on history, I built it in 2012, submitted first time, right? And removed it from the app store in 2014. Basically it was around for two years. Basically what application is doing and how I come up to this app idea. Back in 2012, our local emergency service started to accept GPS coordinates as address to go to address and kind of help people. So that was the idea. So I have iPhone, I can get GPS coordinates from it and I need basically somehow send it. And I basically made application like that, showing map view, getting GPS coordinates, getting and, and sending them by SMS or by email. So this is email already prepared. I am in this GPS coordination, that's it sending. I submitted the application to the App Store, I got it approved, it was available in the App Store for about two years and during those two years I got about 100, 120 downloads basically. <laughs> that wasn't success, that was total failure, right? Why those projects didn't work? Yeah sure, those projects are kind of shitty, especially nowadays, but back in the day that was kind of okay -ish iOS application. I see two big reasons why this application and many other applications of indie developers does not work. First, because I naively assumed that my idea is original and I started to build it without any research. And second, because I was working from solution to the product. Basically, I saw possibility to get those GPS coordinates and send them somewhere, somewhere and basically, yeah, that's up idea. I'm building it. I build it, release it and it tanked, right? I will give you a framework how to come up with better business ideas, but let's address originality first. And I have to grab a package in the shop and we will grab a few props for explanation of this idea as well. So you are coming with me. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream. So in the store you can find a shitload of similar products, energy drinks, water, ice creams. You can find, I don't know, five, ten different just uh, vanilla 
flavor ice creams in the fridge and all they making sales and have millions or even millions in the revenue. <laughs> so why that works for them and how we can make it working for applications as well? Good question, right? Okay, don't worry about this. That was another keyboard. I just connected it. It's great. Some kind of short or I don't know, maybe mini review will follow. Whatever. Back to our topic. <laughs> so, originality of idea. Do you remember that uh, photo blog that I mentioned? So, I was thinking that idea is not original enough. And that was in 2006. I don't know in which year exactly this application came out. Did you heard about it? Instagram, right? So, originality of idea quite often is, is not so important. My current apps in the App Store are not original at all, but why they work and how to come with non-original but still good ideas. So, those are not original products, but they work, right? I would say that you should start from some niche which you really understand and then build product for this niche. Believe me, Red Bull really knows their audience and understands what kind of product they want and, yeah, delivers that very well. Uh, one of my applications in App Store are for freedivers, uh, for those who are doing spare fishing or surfing, basically everything which is related with staying under the water as long as possible. When I started to do spare fishing many, many years ago, I found that, yeah, that's cool if you can stay under the water longer, and I was told that there are program to train to increase your breath hold and basically get from one minute or whatever is your best result to three and five minutes. So I started to look around, didn't found good app for that, but found the program, how to do that. And basically I made this application and it is still in the App Store and there are thousands of users which are using it uh, every day. And remember my original app, which was kind of very original, very kind of smart, 100 plus downloads in a lifetime. So, I don't know. I hope I proved that you don't need original idea, but still you need good idea. And to get those good ideas, you should build products for audience that you understand. And if you are part of this audience, that's even better. Now I'm looking forward to get into the motorcycles. Here is my <laughs> motorcycle helmet. And probably I will build application for motorcycle riders as well. But I don't have idea about application and I don't try to get idea somehow <laughs> out from myself. But I already hanging out with motorcycle riders in WhatsApp groups, in uh, Instagram. I am reading what they are talking about. I am kind of involving myself in those discussions. And maybe eventually I will come up with up idea for them and me as motorcycle rider as well. Basically, you have to pick some audience and build products for them. If you build multiple products for the same audience, amazing. You will have, I don't know, different flowers, flavors of the same product and one of them will be hit and you are hooray. You are kind of winning the game. And that is the goal, right? Let's try it, have it taste. So, and how good product idea looks like? I would say there should be four components. First one, it is simple to build. You can build it in a month and release it and yeah, that should not be something challenging. You have to have major insight kind of information. You have to understand your audience better if you are part of this audience as well. And that will be a huge benefit comparing you with competitors because you understand your audience, you're talking with audience in the same language and so on. Uh, you know how to market your product because you understand where your audience hang out. You can go to the same forums, you can go to the same offline events. And so you understand how to send traffic to your product when it is ready, how to show this product to your audience. And last but not least, you should be excited about that product because you will work at least six months to see some results and even more to build successful product. Let me give you a practical approach about talking with audience, building product for them and so on. I am indie hacker and part of my audience, you guys, are indie developers or do programmers who are building indie applications. So I built a habit tracking application for with indies in mind. And that works and I used this application, got quite a few downloads and so on. I would say it is successful application, but I wasn't very passionate about that and I'm not working actively on it, whatever. I was thinking what else product I could build. 
And without jumping, I didn't jump straight to the developing something, but I was writing a lot of uh, posts on Twitter. And basically I posted my kind of approach, basically short tweet, how to build a product from zero to App Store in 30 days. What is my plan? How I'm doing that? And that post was very po popular. From this post, I built a Notion template and I was selling it for free on Gumroad. But there was option to pay five bucks or I don't know how much, five bucks, I guess. And I made something like, I don't remember, 80, maybe 100 bucks from this Notion template. That was super cool. And that was validation that this actually is helpful for someone. Because remember, when you're building application, you are not trying to trick someone to give you money. You have to provide value to customer and then customer should be happy to pay to you. So this was validation that something like that is valuable. So I decided I was thinking, okay, what is the next step? Next step could be a building a course. And don't worry, I'm not selling course you here. <laughs> uh, and I built course around this notion template, basically explained each step deeper. And I was selling this course for 50 bucks. And yeah, it, it made quite a good money. I made a few thousand dollars from this course. And without announcing that, I also did one-to-one -one calls with those who finished the course for free. Just to jump on this person on call and basically discuss all the problems they have and whatever questions they have after finishing this course. And so for me, that was kind of uh, feedback about this course and under deeper understanding about this audience. And for that person, that was chance basically to talk one-to-one -to, -one to me and ask whatever questions they had after finishing this course. So if you have a chance, jump with your audience on Zoom calls and make those one-on-one -on -one call. Yeah, that is not scalable, but you will get enormous amount of information that is really helpful to understand better your audience problems and what kind of solutions you could offer them. For me personally, based on this research on few Google Forms, which maybe you also feel it, I understood that the best product for my audience could be something like course, but where we can work together. And basically that is also kind of community. And I launched a community a uh, week ago, and that was overnight success for me because I launched a community, I don't know, on uh, last week and today we already have 120 something. Yeah, today we already have 129 paying members and that community making more money than my <laughs> habit tracking application. So that's cool, but that overnight success is possible. If you really kind of understand the audience, it's not necessary to have following of that audience. You don't need 100,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, it is enough if you know where your audience hang out what kind of problems they have and what kind of solutions they are looking for. And if you will go in those places where this audience is and you will tell about your great product, which solves big problem for reasonable price, that's your formula for successful app idea. It's, this product should not be original. Maybe it is another energy drink or another free diving application or another community or another course. But that should be fine tuned for that specific audience, specific problems that they have. And then it is success story. That's your jackpot. Okay. Hope I answered your question. Sorry if this video was too long. <laughs> See you next one.